Welcome to Science Lab with Mrs. Keener. Gravity by Jason Chin. Gravity by Jason Chin. Gravity makes objects fall to Earth. Without gravity, everything would float away. The moon would drift away from the earth. The earth would drift away from the sun. Luckily, everything has gravity. Massive things have a lot of gravity. And their gravity pulls on smaller things. Gravity keeps the Earth near the Sun. The Moon near the Earth. And makes objects fall. To Earth. The end. It's a good thing we have gravity, right? To keep us down on the Earth, to keep our atmosphere from floating away, to keep the Earth close to the Sun. Thank goodness for gravity. Everything has gravity. And the bigger and more massive something is, the more gravity it has. The sun has more gravity than all the planets. The moon has less gravity than the Earth does. Which is why when people walk on the moon, even though they're wearing a heavy suit with all kinds of life support built into it, they can still hop along and they look like they're very, very light. The moon has less gravity and so people feel lighter and can jump higher. I wonder how high you could jump on the moon. Today's lab is all about how high you can jump on the moon. So what you need to do is first measure how high you can jump on the Earth. If you have somebody helping you, they can just put a ruler near your head or near your shoulders or near your feet and ask them to tell you how many inches or how many centimeters you jump. I like to put the zero end of the ruler down to the floor, makes it easier to do the math. If you don't have anybody who can help you, you can do it by yourself. Put your camera from your laptop or phone or whatever, uh, facing a ruler that's standing up with the zero side pointing down and you can put it by your feet or by your shoulders or by your head, whatever, and start recording and then go stand by the ruler and jump and then go back and check the recording and see how many inches or centimeters high you jumped. Just measure the difference between where your head was when you were at the top of your jump and where your head was at the bottom of your jump. And if you can't easily fit your head into the camera frame, you could put your ruler and your camera on top of a dresser or whatever. If that doesn't work for you, you can do everything down on the floor, whatever, as long as you can figure out how many inches or how many centimeters high you jump. You can do it several times if you want. After you get warmed up, maybe you'll jump higher. The thing that I don't want to know is how high you can kick your feet up. So that's not very interesting to me. If you jump up and you just bend your knees 
and you say, oh, I jumped a foot because I kicked my feet up. That's not what I'm interested in. I want to know how high your body moves up and down. After you figured that out, and you made a note of whether you're measuring it in centimeters or in inches, you're going to calculate how high that jump would be if you were on the moon. The moon has one-sixth the gravity of Earth. So any jump that you do on Earth would be six times higher on the moon. So if you can jump one foot on Earth, you could jump six feet on the moon. So calculate that. Now I want you to imagine that you were jumping on a planet with more gravity than Earth. So think of a planet that's bigger. I like to think of Jupiter because it's the biggest. So Jupiter has twice the gravity of Earth. So if you tried to jump on Jupiter, it would feel very hard to jump, right? You would feel heavier. It would be pulling you down. Your jump would only be half as high. So figure out what half your Earth jump is. That would be your Jupiter jump. You're going to enter those numbers into the Google form that I'm sharing with you. And one last thing that I want you to do is tell me what would your morning look like if you woke up one morning on the International Space Station, which is in orbit around the Earth and has microgravity, which means almost no gravity at all. It's practically zero. How would you get out of bed? How would you get ready for the day? What would you need in order to start your day? Tell me about that in the Google form. I look forward to hearing about it. See you next time.